So this particular case is involving a 32-year-old gentleman, runs a restaurant in New York, and he had a neurologic event. It was an ischemic stroke. It was deemed cryptogenic after an extensive workup, not able to find any etiology for the stroke other than the PFO. So our patient uh, went for evaluation and had a TEE. There was aneurysmal motion to the septum, but not a true aneurysm. Showed at least moderate shunting at breast without Valsalva and then significant shunting with Valsalva. We were able to also see color Doppler shunting that shows that there's bidirectional shunt all the time throughout the entire cardiac cycle. And the device was placed in a standard technique using a 25 millimeter gore cardiform subtal occluder. Uh, the device went in very easily on the first attempt without any issues or any complications. We did imaging that you can see of the device after deployment, and we also did a saline injection after deployment showing no residual shunting at the completion of the procedure. And then at follow-up was found to have you know, an excellent device position, no serious adverse events, and no residual shunting by saline particles uh, during a chest wall echo image. And at the one-year follow-up, was able to again to be shown to have no residual shunting and very uh, good device position that had flattened nicely on the septum and endothelialized and, and covered nicely. 